Who do you like more? Mm. Nick Cage, Keanu Reeves, or Tom Cruise? Nick Cage, Keanu Reeves, Tom Cruise. I probably like more films of Nick Cage. But you don't like Nick Cage. No! <laughs> Just Back to our stupid Rex feed and sub Corbin. I'm Rick. Also, Instagram, Pizza Twitter, Twitter Twitter, Twitter juicy content. Bang! Post on person's channel. Group before. It would actually probably go. I probably like more Nick Cage films, older ones. <laughs> None of his newer stuff. Oh, uh, National Treasure. National Treasure. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun. And then Kick Ass. He did great in Kick Ass. But so there's probably that. Did you but see John Wick? Obviously helps Keanu Reeves and the fact that he's a great person. Right, uh, he's a it's fantastic. hard to not so like Tom Cruise is probably at the bottom for me. Um, have you seen, well, two things. Have you seen the history of, of cuss words? I haven't watched it's it yet. It's fun. Yeah, I hear it's That's fun. fun, and it's quick little excerpts. But the yeah. other thing, have you seen Vampire's Kiss? Like, is that a movie? It's an old Nick Cage film from the 1980s. No. And he thinks he has been bit by a woman who's a vampire, and he's convinced he's turning into a vampire. I think that's just Nick it's, Cage's life. It's, <laughs> it's worth a watch because it's like 90 minutes. And it's just Nick Cage being crazy. That's Nick and Cage. And it's, it's the film where he ate a cockroach on, on camera. Gross. It's really funny. Also, Vampire's Kiss. Nick Cage is the reason Johnny Depp is a thing. <clears throat> really? Yeah, they were friends. He introduced him to his agent, and then that's how he got his first role. Like Marion Street. Was that his first role? And it was because of Nick Cage. Well, it's also because the director's daughter thought he was cute as well. Wow. And another little tidbit of information for you. Liam Neeson is the reason that Daniel Day-Lewis played Abraham Lincoln. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, Liam Neeson was supposed to play that role. And Daniel Day-Lewis was, was Spielberg's original want. Mm -hmm. And at the time, Daniel turned it down and said, I don't believe I'm prepared or ready to play that character. Mm -hmm. And then he got Liam, and then it turned out that Daniel was available. And Spielberg didn't know what to do. And he, was, he talked to Liam Neeson, and Liam said, if you can get Daniel Day-Lewis, get Daniel Day-Lewis. And so the go-between was Leo DiCaprio. Leo, Leo, this is, I, this is, I've heard this through six degrees of separation, so if this is pure BS, then oh well. But I trust who I heard it from, that Leo, because of their work on gangs and everything, reached out to DDO, who said, I thought Liam Neeson was doing that, told him the story, and then Spielberg contacted Daniel Day-Lewis. That's awesome. And that's how he got Lincoln, because it should have been Liam Neeson. Anyway, welcome to our reactions. We'll get started now. Today we're doing a funny song. <laughs> I love it already. And this is from Girly Apa. Oh, we just did yeah, a, we just did a thing from uh, Girly Apa. It's called the period song. Yeah, oh, so, I'm, uh, I'm going to love it already. Neither of us have ever had one. No. But we know people who have. Yes. So. And, and I was, well, let's just move on. <laughs> I was gonna say. I hear it's awful. And we, I, what I was gonna say, what came into my mind was this, but I knew there was a double entendre. We have known people intimately that have had periods, but that has a double entendre to it that could have made some of you very uncomfortable. Oh, but I said it anyway, didn't I? You did. This is gonna be. I can tell. This is gonna be great. This is gonna probably be as good as what was the song or the sketch? Remember where it was giving directions was a. Uh, hey, have you one? Yeah. Yeah. Was about sex. Yeah. That was so good. Here we go. The period song. This is gonna be good. It's great already. Not all of 
it's English. So yeah. I apologize. I wish we could do it all. I'm sorry. So I was told that it was all English subtitles. There you go, Girly Appa. I subscribe right don't now. Don't watch anything. I'm uh, not. I'm not. I subscribe, but I won't watch a thing. But yeah, the uh, I, I was told that it had all English subtitles. So the, the little bit that it, I think during the sex part, it yeah. was saying that they get really horny. Right. The guy doesn't want to have sex because they're on their period. It seems like he has a chest feed though. Yeah. Don't uh, be a that's, that, that's that's probably what it was because I know there's a that, there's a lot of that in the world. Um, um, I don't know about I do, you. I do know girls get, uh, some girls do get uh, more um, excitable when yes. they are on their period. Yeah, and since we're talking about periods and menstruation, um, guys, come on. It's a natural part of a woman's sexual being. And um, I, I have never understood the... De detestation and stigmatizing of a woman's menstrual cycle because it's always been the exact opposite for me like i i was i wanted to but my my wife at the time didn't want to do this and the girls have said that it was probably best that it didn't but i wanted to i wanted to have a freaking celebration when i found out that the girls had their periods because to me that was like you've you've you're entering womanhood now and that's like that's it's amazing to me and yeah you shouldn't i i just i don't know about you but there's there should be no hesitations at any time of the month to be intimate with your wife so there you have it now you know my take on that 
<laughs> I've never understood it. You didn't think you'd get that information, but you got it. You didn't got you? it. <laughs> Very funny. Would love to see more from them. Uh, oh, they're so, so, so please so, uh, so send it to us and uh, also let me know if it actually has all English subtitles because I don't want to miss any of the funny that I'm sure we did here. Yeah, I would really uh, yeah, like I think to. we got most of it, but I, I, think I, we did too. I, I apologize. I didn't know, but we had already watched half of it by the time it came on, so I was like, yeah, I know what to do. And it, I know in certain parts of India, it's not that way here anymore in most places, but I know in many parts of India. Yeah. It's stigmatized still, still and stigmatized. still treated as an uncleanness. Yeah. Um, it's still stigmatized in certain ways in America. Yeah, the way it's the but, way it's most but, stigmatized here is just that it's gross. Is that it's that some men think it's just disgusting and they don't even want to talk about it. Which <sighs> second, there's a lot of girls whose mothers say zero to them mm -hmm. about their sexuality, their vagina, yeah. their menstruation, and so they're left to their own devices and how they typically learn about. How to do everything is from either another girl or a, a cousin or a sister. Yeah. And to to me, that's just uh, I, I just to for a woman to feel ashamed about any part of her womanhood just is very very saddening. Yeah. So, ladies, you're awesome. Go go listen to Cher's song "A Woman's World." You'll be glad I recommended it. She sings her freaking face off. Cher, don't you say anything bad about Cher. Don't you. She's old. <laughs>